Hey, this is Asaf Levavi from LinkedInRef.com and it's time for another few requests. And in this video, we're going to learn El Condor Pasa. Uh, it's a Peruvian song sent by a viewer um, who asked me to transcribe it and arrange it into finger style. So I did. It took me some time, as with most requests, but I did it. So uh, I hope you like it. It's a very, very nice song. It's a great melody. Uh, let me play it for you, and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick, and I'm gonna show you exactly how it's done. So, it goes like this. Okay, are you ready to begin? Let's jump right in. You begin with E minor. And you play the A string and the D string. Still E minor. And then on the D string, it's one and two. Okay, so it's two on the A string, two on the D string, one and two on the D string. Okay, so okay. Try to keep the E minor chord still ringing in the background. Okay, you can still hear the strings. Um, when you play this, you want to add the E bass. Okay, with uh, each time you play the E note, the two on the D string. Bass, bass. Then you slide it, you can either slide it or not, but I like to slide it. You slide the E note into an F sharp note, you slide it from two to four. And then you play, the. you keep the F sharp note on, of course, and you play the G string, the D string, and the G string again. Okay? Uh, and you play the E bass along with each time you play the G string. Okay? Bass, bass. And then you play the second fret on the G string. Okay? So it's. It's an A note. Then we change the chord. It was E minor up till now. This actually with the F sharp note is uh, E minor add nine, but um, the add nine is actually in the melody and the chord is just E minor. So it's on E minor. It's not E minor add nine, but. Uh, I am here to teach, so just know that if you play E minor with the F sharp note, it's E minor add 9. Okay, just a side note. So again, bass, 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 bass. And then we go into a G chord, but we don't have to put anything on except for the 
base node, except for three on the E string. Why? Because um, we just need the B string. We don't need this B note or this G note, so we just need these two. We need the G bass and an open B string. Okay? That's all. That's all you play. Now, this is where you can be creative. You can either pick the bass, okay? Or you can fill it any way you want. Or, or even, okay? Uh, if it sounds good to you, just play it. You can even not play anything. You can play um, without any way of filling the rest of the bar at all and it will still feel good and sound good if you um, if you're confident in playing it. The tabs just show the basic melody. Uh, you can fill it any way you want. Um, let's go, let's continue. Um, now, it's this. Okay, it's uh, three, hammer on to five, pull off to three, and then zero again on the B string, all in the B string. Okay, and you can harmonize with the G string. You can pick both of them. Okay, and it sounds good because it should, it's a G chord, so. Okay, now you can also play three zero. It sounds good as well. Or, no, that's not the melody note. The melody note is the D note. So you can either play a D note, or you can embellish with, and again, it's bass, two, three, and then it's this. Okay, it's, it's just the hammer on to five, and then it's hammer on pull off again and open B string. Um, the melody note right now is this, the E note. So you can play it like this. Okay, you can play the E note, you can play five and then this. Um, if it sounds good to you. Again, um, my arrangement is only a suggestion for you to build upon, okay? You don't have to play my arrangement. So, um, from the G again. Um, no, actually from here. So you can hear it. Okay, hammer on pull off, hammer on to five, and then hammer on pull off again. Uh, or, this is the thin version. You see? It sounds nice as well. You don't have to embellish everything all the time. You can play with it. You can play it one time uh, with embellishments, one time without embellishments. Okay, and if you loop the song and play it a couple of times, not just one time like I did uh, when I demonstrated it a minute ago, you can play it various different ways, okay? Uh, you, you don't have to play every verse the same. Uh, play with it, have fun, make your own arrangement of this. And now comes this. Okay? Uh, it's, it's B7, and you play the A string and the D string together, and then this, G string, B string, G string, okay, and you pull off from two to zero on the G string, okay, and then it's E minor again, and you play 
the D string first, and then you play the E bass. And then it's one, two, three, and then on the fourth beat, it's the G string, and then again, the D string. Now to put it into context, it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Okay? That's the melody. Um, again, entire verse. Now, um, I bet you've noticed a motif here. Uh, the motif is that there's a note at the beginning of the bar and a note at the end of the bar. Okay, that's the general feel of the rhythm of the melody. Um, so let's count it, okay? It's um, here. This is really easy because there's nothing to count, uh, but from this point on, you need to count. So, one, two, three, four. Okay, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, you got it? It's both on the four. Two, three. Three is the B7. Three, four. Got it? One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay? Hope you got it now. Um, let's go to the verse. Now, the verse goes like this. Okay? Um, don't worry, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play everything with embellishments later, um, with fills and different accompaniments, uh, so you can hear how it goes, but first of all, let's just go through the basic melody. Um, it's the D note, okay, as a precursor to the chorus, uh, the D note, three on the B string, and then it's C, okay? And now it's, the melody note is the E string. And now it's four on the B string and the E string, three times. Okay, and everything, and every, everything. And every time you play the E string, you play the C bass with it. Okay, now if you only play the melody oh, oh by the way very important don't play these two notes together because it sounds like this uh, and you don't want this you want it to sound smooth so every time you pick the E string just take your finger off the four okay If you only play the melody, you don't have to put the C chord on, you just have to put the C bass on. If you do want to play uh, some fills with it, uh, then you do have to put the chord on. So you can pick it, like this. Okay? But you can also play this. And it sounds nice. Uh, as well. Both versions sound nice. Um, sometimes a chord between the melody notes just sounds too much, so sometimes you do need to play a thin version of things. And now it's E, G, E. It's uh, open E string, three on the E string, open E string again. 
Okay, and along with the G note, you play the C bass again. Then it's G with three on the B string. It's a D, D note again. Okay, uh, and again, it's one, two, three, and then this again. Okay, so um, I don't need to repeat it, right? It's just three hammer on to five and the hammer on pull off thingy. So before we go to the second chorus line, uh, let's go through this again. D note, C. Okay, E flat, E, E flat, E, E flat, E. And each time you play E, you play the bass. Okay, this again is on the four. One, two, three. G. Three. Two, three, four. And then again. Okay, the second chorus line is basically the same. Only this time you end with the B7 line. The B7 to E minor line that ended the verse. The ending of the chorus and the ending of the verse are the same. Uh, so, entire thing from the top. E minor. how you can um, add some notes, some chords notes, uh, chord notes to this. Um, I want to remind you that after you're done, you can subscribe to my channel to keep updated with all the new lessons. I upload a new lesson every couple of days. Uh, so just subscribe and keep updated. Uh, and go download the tab from the website after uh, you're done watching this and you can have the tab Instead of on the screen on the video, you can print it and just learn at your own pace. And while you're there, if you want to give something back for this lesson, there's a donation button and uh, I'd appreciate any donation whatsoever. Even if you don't donate, I'll still make free lessons, completely free because this is what I do. I love doing this. Now let's go into uh, how we can make this into a fuller arrangement. Um, you can't do much with this. Okay? Because your fingers are already way too busy. And you don't want to uh, overcrowd the ear. You want to um, put the emphasis on the melody. So, uh, you can begin the accompaniment on G. Okay? And you can choose any rhythm you like that fits. Okay, it was a mistake. But, um, on the B7. But, even a simple picking pattern, just you know, the down-up pattern. Even just down. Just up. 
Okay, it, it fits. If you if you're confident in your playing, everything sounds good. It doesn't matter. You don't have to uh, go through hoops and play complicated things in order to sound good. Most of the time, it's the opposite. The simpler you play, the better it will sound. Okay? Um, insecure players play uh, more notes and they try to fit everything into the bar, into one bar. Uh, just play with it. The first time around, if you choose to loop it, uh, and you play it a couple of times, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, then you can play the first verse uh, completely empty, like this. Second time around, you just add some notes. A note or two you don't have to overdo it third time around when you want to make a big finish then you can really add some more notes okay but this was too much uh, in my opinion in my opinion this was overcrowded this was me showing off. And what's the point of showing off? Uh, if you can play a beautiful piece that only requires a note or two, then play those two notes. Don't, uh, don't overcrowd the bar. Uh, but then again, if your style is to overcrowd the bar and, it, and you can make it sound good, and you're confident you're playing, and you can make this um, the plethora of, of sounds to sound really, really good, then do it. Um, but in my opinion, it's unnecessary for this one. So I hope I helped you uh, in um, first in learning this, and second in uh, understanding how to arrange this into your own. Um, arrangement and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and um, download the tab and practice it and get it under your fingers and have fun and I'll see you in the next lesson thank you very much for watching